But when you will explore inheritance using this particular book, then you will get to know, oh, you don't know the real meaning of inheritance. When we derive any class in the public mode, what is the meaning of that? When you drive class in productive Hi all, this is me Karan. So this particular video is gonna be a bit different. So in the recent past, I have read not many books. So you can see here, this is one of the books around C++. This is one of the books around blockchain. This is another book around blockchain. This is one of the books uh, which is very difficult to understand. And this is trade codes and prices. This is mostly around how mathematics is used in trading. And this is another book which is around again C++ by Scott Mayers. And recently, like these days, I am reading this particular book, which is Asynchronous Programming with C++. So in this particular video, I'll talk about one of the books which I read long back. And this book is by Scott Mayers. And the name of this book is Effective C++ 55 Specific Ways to Improve Your Programs and Design. And before starting the video or before starting the review, I would like to mention a few things that let's say you are a C++ developer or you are doing programming in any of the other programming languages. For example, let's say Java, Python like that. And if you feel that you are good with C++ or object oriented programming concepts, then I'm sure after reading this particular book, you will get to know that, oh, you don't know tons of things. How things can be done in a completely different way. How compiler interpret things internally. How, how our system behaves when we use virtual functions or virtual destructor inside our code. So those kind of things you will get to know. So if I talk about a few specific things, for example, inheritance. So inheritance is one of the simplest things to understand in any of the programming languages. But when you will explore inheritance using this particular book, then you will get to know, oh, you don't know the real meaning of inheritance. When we derive any class in the public mode, what is the meaning of that? When you drive class in protected mode, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of when you drive any class in a private mode? So when you will go through this particular book, then you will go get to know, oh, what is the real meaning of inheritance? And another example I can provide you is a virtual destructor. So a lot many times we are supposed to use virtual destructor in our code. But in what kind of circumstances we should use virtual destructor? In what kind of cases we should not use virtual destructor? And how those are going to impact the performance of the system? So you will get to know in and out of uh, all such things. And at the same time, uh, in our code, we frequently use interfaces. Why interfaces are important? And I'm not saying all these things just because I have read this particular book. Instead, I genuinely feel like if you feel you are good with oops concept, just go through this particular book. You will get to know that you don't know a lot many things, things about object oriented programming concepts. So uh, if I have to recommend one of the books to any of the programmers, be it a beginner level programmer or an experience level programmer, then I'll highly suggest reading this particular book and not just reading. Instead, when you are going through this particular book, then take your laptop or computer and whatever examples are there, just implement them in your own favorite programming languages by using the concepts provided in this particular book. So I'll highly, highly recommend you to read this particular book. This will provide you really nice insights about object oriented programming concepts. So I hope this book will be really, really helpful for you and you will try to explore this. And I'm sure the price of this book is not uh, that much. So you can easily get it from Amazon or Flipkart like that within like 600 or 700 uh, INR. So if you're liking the content, please do like this particular video. That way YouTube algorithm will distribute this particular video to more number of people. And in my subsequent videos, I'll try to review about other books which I am going through and which I have read in the past. So I'll, I'll try to cover all these books in my subsequent videos. So yeah, this is it from this video. Thank you.